Well, there are many facets to this. One of them is the distrust that black women feel in these healthcare institutions, thanks to the increased risk of certain health conditions developing in black women as we grow older. Further demonstrates why we should not assume that the safety of HRT is the same for white or Asian or black women has to do with the way. So, is HRT safe for black women? The answer to this is. The question, is HRT safe for black women? Is it possible that a treatment designed to help all women might be putting black women at risk? When it comes to HRT, the answers aren't so clear, but with real differences in how black women experience menopause and other health conditions, could the safety of HRT look different for us? So let's explore what we know and what we don't know about how HRT could impact black women specifically. First of all, why should we even question specifically the safety of HRT among black women? Well, there are many facets to this. One of them is the distrust that black women feel in these healthcare institutions, thanks to their personal experience and the historical experience of black women from these same healthcare institutions. When you as a black woman learn that a study is made up of 70 or 80% white women, it's only reasonable to question whether the findings from that study could really apply to you. So being open about research, including what subjects are being exposed to, and intentionally working with members of the black community for us to be involved in these studies is crucial. The next reason is the increased risk of certain health conditions developing in black women as we grow older. And we're going to look at this in a moment. And next is the variation or the differences in hormonal responses. This reason which further demonstrates why we should not assume that the safety of HRT is the same for white or Asian or black women has to do with the way our hormones work differently. Studies suggest that black women could metabolize hormones differently and this could affect the safety of the drugs that we take including HRT. Of course more studies are needed for this and important to say that what we need is tailored or an individual approach to treatment for every woman. The next reason why we have to question specifically whether HRT is safe for black women has to do with clinical care, specifically cultural competent care. This is simply when a healthcare practitioner provides care to a woman based on her culture, being aware of and recognizing certain nuances in healthcare delivery, provision, and even health seeking that affect her because of the culture she's from. For example, there may be several symptoms of menopause in a particular woman that doctors don't pick up if they do not provide culturally competent care. This can affect the treatment. It might even needlessly expose a woman to HRT if she doesn't need it. And where we haven't got culturally sensitive guidance or information on HRT, many women wouldn't want to use it or they might get inappropriate treatment choices. So now that I think we're on the same page about questioning whether HRT is safe in black women, let us address some of those safety issues. First is the higher risk of heart disease. Black women tend to have a higher risk for conditions like high blood pressure, ischemic heart disease, heart failure, and stroke. But these conditions we know can be increased by HRT. Hormones within HRT can make the chances of blood clots or a heart attack more likely to happen. This is worrying for a woman who is already at risk of those problems, such as being overweight, smoking, having a family history of heart disease, or being black. We should do our best to reduce those other risks that are within our control. For example, stop smoking, lose weight, manage our blood pressure, keep it under control. Next is the increased risk of breast cancer. There may be a greater risk of problem for some black women and HRT in respect of breast cancer. First, we know that overall users of HRT have a slightly increased risk of breast cancer compared to those who have not or do not use HRT. This risk is greater the longer that you stay on HRT. Specifically, it does refer to the combined HRT where there are two hormones within the preparation rather than estrogen only HRT 
or vaginal estrogen. However, some studies suggest that black women may have a slightly higher risk of developing a particularly aggressive form of breast cancer, such as triple negative breast cancer. So black women already at a higher risk of developing this type of cancer may be more likely to do so with HRT. But overall, let's be aware of the risks for breast cancer. They can include a family history of breast cancer, being overweight, smoking and the use of alcohol, the hormonal birth control pill. Women who've never been pregnant or who become pregnant at an older age have a slightly higher risk of developing breast cancer. The key thing is being aware of these and discussing with your doctor with your own specific risks in mind to make a decision about whether HRT will be suitable for you or not. Next, being overweight. In addition to heart disease, breast cancer, another condition affecting HRT use where black women could have a slightly higher risk compared to other ethnic groups is being obese or overweight. In the United Kingdom, gov.uk data tells us 70.8% of black adults were overweight or living with obesity, the highest percentage out of all ethnic groups. According to the US Department of Health and Human Services, Office of Minority Health, African-American women have the highest rates of obesity or being overweight compared to other groups in the United States. About four out of five African-American women are overweight or obese. Being overweight is linked to other problems like developing blood clots, heart disease, and metabolic syndrome. These conditions will be further amplified if taking HRT in addition. Another issue that can make HRT use unsafe for a black woman is misdiagnosis or mistreatment. Delays in diagnosing menopause and starting treatment at an older age are unfortunately a common experience of many black women and this is as a result of systemic healthcare disparities. It means that by the time you start HRT, perhaps at an older age, underlying problems like being obese or heart disease have already set in, making the risk of HRT use even higher. So is HRT safe for black women? The answer to this is, there are some conditions that carry a higher risk unique to black women that could make taking HRT less safe for some of us. And we need to be aware of this. We've mentioned heart disease, being obese, overweight, and breast cancer as examples. How can we balance this concern versus the benefits of HRT in treating hot flushes and night sweats? To black women. Remember, studies also show that we experience more distressing menopause symptoms and for a longer period of time. These reasons demonstrate the need for personalized, tailored risk assessments for all women considering HRT, particularly for black women, to ensure that the benefits outweigh the potential harms. If we are suitable for HRT and want to start treatment, here are some things that you can do to further reduce any risks going forward. Stay on HRT for the shortest possible duration of time that's needed to control your symptoms. Ensure you're having regular monitoring, whether this is by breast examinations, your cervical smears, keeping check of your blood pressure, generally making sure you have optimum physical and mental health. Where it's applicable, choose safer forms of HRT. For example, we know that when it comes to preventing blood clots, the transdermal HRT, which is the patches, the gels or the creams, are safer compared to the oral, that is the tablets. And we also need more studies that will help us to identify if alternative formulations have differences for things like breast cancer or other forms of heart disease. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section and please share this with a friend or a member of the family because we need to have this conversation and I hope that it empowers somebody to have a positive discussion with their healthcare provider and identify the best care for them. After you've done that, please come back and check out other menopause care videos on my channel and I'll see you again soon.